just left our intrepid reviewer, he was busy being tangled up by a manifestation of his own lack of talent, squeezing the life out of him. Later on, some guy said this after realizing how inconsistent and illogical the acted portion of the review was. Oh, shit! And now, time for the conclusion. This is Reviewing the Reviewer. Level 4-2. Aladdin for the Super Nintendo is your basic run-of-the-mill video game that was adapted from the movie. Even though he's literally saying there are tons of video games based off the same movie, and this is just one of the run-of-the-mill games based off the movie, there are really only technically two. The original, which was ported on several different game consoles, most notably the Sega Genesis, where it was awarded 1993's Best Sega Genesis Game Award by EGM, and the SNES Aladdin, which was, for all practical purposes, a completely different game. The original was released by Virgin Interactive, the SNES version by Capcom a few months later. The Sega version is by far considered the superior game here. And while we're on the subject, 1992 was the year Arabian Style was made popular by Disney's movie, and there was a game that achieved the height of its popularity around the same time, going from a more or less obscure computer game to an SNES classic we all know and love, Prince of Persia. The Sega version of Aladdin curiously plays somewhat like a cartoonier version of Prince of Persia. Coincidence? Which one fed the popularity for which? Whoa, 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 too educational, too thought-provoking. Okay, back to the Boar's review. And although this game is not as bad as it could have been, it does contain a few things that just piss me off. First off, let's talk about weapons, because the only thing you have to defend yourself with in this game are apples. Completely untrue. In fact, the apples only serve to stun enemies or kill the smaller enemies. Your main weapon here will be doing backflips on top of your enemy which you'll see boars accidentally do throughout this video. These stupid things are useless, as they only end up stunning the bigger enemies for a few seconds, rather than killing them. I don't know who thought of such a retarded idea, but it makes as much sense as taking a shit on a bunch of apples and calling it apple dumplings. <laughs> it's a killer! <laughs> it's a killer! <laughs> Now, another irritating feature is the little monkey that follows you around. I wouldn't mind so much if he actually did something, but he doesn't do a damn thing! Sometimes he gets on my nerves so much, I just want to pick him up and toss his ass across a fucking screen! Now, now see that? You toss the monkey across the screen, but you know, monkeys are like boomerangs, so he returns unharmed right here. See, the coach should take the monkey out and bench him. And then go down to this guy here and borrow his brain, because it's bigger. Talk about a waste of pixel space. Throughout most of the game, this monkey will follow right behind you. He'll follow you into caves, over mounds of gold, and, well, that's pretty much it. Because when you reach the more dangerous parts of the game, he's nowhere to be found. It's only after you reach the other side of these dangerous areas that you'll see your monkey friend just sitting back and relaxing. Wow, what a lazy bitch-ass monkey fuck. Was there a need for such forced potty mouthery? Tell me, do you think for a moment that comment somehow enhanced his review? I leave that judgment to you, viewer. But if you think that's bad... You think that's bad? Remember the time I sang La Cucaracha? Just wait until you go fight the first level boss. It's here that Abu finally decides to leap into action and help me out. It's just too bad he's standing ten feet away from the fucking fight. And thanks for all your help, buddy! Hope you don't hurt yourself punching all the empty air up there! Empty air... Gee, what kind of air do you breathe in, Boars? It might help explain your brain's lack of oxygen. Now whenever you finish one of these desert levels, the monkey pulls out an apple and actually starts eating it like he accomplished something. All I gotta say is that better not be one of my apples. What the hell? What the hell indeed? That doesn't happen in the game. Save states allowed for boars to create that joke. Oh yeah, watch this next clip. When the apple count gets to 50, it'll cut to him. And count how many blips occur while the camera's focused on boars. When it gets back to showing the game, tell me where you thought the counter should have continued from.
Certainly not 49. Man, he can't even get his own jokes right. Oh, you little piece of monkey shit! Get over here! Get over here! Now, throughout the entire course of the game, you'll be seeing two types of jewels. Green ones, and red ones. The green ones you can grab with no effort at all. But the red ones, on the other hand, require you to be some kind of Dick Grayson acrobatic asshole just to get close to one. No, you did not just reference Robin. Jeez, knowing you, Batman and Robin's probably your favorite Batman flick, too. What really pisses me off about these things is how they place them just out of your reach. Like here, for instance. Just how the hell do they expect me to jump this far? Well, maybe if I get a nice running start, I can do it. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on! Maybe if I tried jumping from the higher platform. Alright, let's try this. You son of a bitch! See, if you were a real gamer, you'd have realized there's trigger buttons on an SNES controller, and that they have a use. Here's how a competent gamer gets past your straw man there. Look how close I was! Ugh, somebody call 911, because I was robbed! <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> More of that <laughs> But if you expect to score a kick-ass prize for finishing this ungodly task, then get ready to blow a fucking gasket, because the only prize you'll be receiving are alternate ending credits. So that's it? I did all that work for this? Well, what a piece of shit! I wiped my ass with your alternate credits. I think a better prize would have been the ability to play the game as another character, like Abu or Jafar. Oh, so you do know the monkey's name. And how on earth would Jafar work? He's the villain, remember? There's no logic in him going through the same levels as Aladdin. And secondly, you'll be running into these small bats every five seconds. One wrong move, and they'll knock your ass back into the deadly abyss below. These damn things don't leave you alone for anything. And once they knock your ass into the water, it's a straight drop right down into hell. Where the hell are these things coming from? <laughs> it's a killer! <laughs> it's a killer! <laughs> Anything you touch here will instantly kill your ass. Touch the ceiling, you die. Touch the ground, you die. Touch the lava, you die. Really? Touch the lava, you die? Even if you think about touching anything in this level, you will die. And it's like you touch the top of the building, you die, you touch the ceiling, you die, you touch the floor, you die, too far to the right, you die, too far to the left, you die, you die, you die, you die, 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 die. First off in level three, you get transported to a genie land. And it's here that we get to jump on genie's head, genie's hands, and genie's balls. But the next stage gets even worse, as now you run around inside of a pyramid fighting off birds made out of sand. Just when the hell did this shit happen in the movie? Now you say here, he called that a bird, but it really is a bat. Now wouldn't you know it, I ran out of time, and that was even with cutting some stuff I would have loved to have brought up. Needless to say, it's a completely silly review with no credibility attached. In the end, the sage has to use his third wish to wish he'd never found the game. So they're back in the desert accomplishing absolutely nothing. So here's the ending credits. Now, I'm not sure if that's the film crying because it's finally over, or if that's just a collection of all the tears the true gamers shed when they saw this. Hmm. Well, anyhow, see you next time, folks, and as usual, Thanks for watching. They can't get rid of me that easily. Maybe I'll hide in there. <laughs>